wouldn't you love to bypass any pitfalls and have the opportunity to put the best foot forward first? Well, hopefully my next Dare to Share video will give you just that. Hello, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel today. This Dare to Share video is long overdue. I've been meaning to share with you guys my natural hair journey and to allow you a glimpse into what I um, decided to do many years ago and share with you some ups and downs and um, just different things that's happened over this journey, right? So in the very beginning, I wasn't always natural, I should say, um, or actually, I take that back. Yes, I was natural, however, my mom did not know how to care for my texture of hair or my sister's texture of hair. Our hairs were completely different from her texture. And so when you're unknowledgeable about some things, you tend to take the easiest way out. So she relaxed our hair. Now, don't, don't take that wrong. Um, our hair was always well kept. Our hair was always um, combed neatly. But as far as um, maintaining our natural hair without chemicals, my mom did not understand that process. So kudos to my mom for keeping us very well groomed, right? So I would say maybe back in, um, I don't know, maybe like the late 90s, I continued to wear relaxed hair. Um, even through establishing a career um, I always had my hair relaxed and then out of the blue I just got tired of waking up on a Saturday morning so early like four o'clock five o'clock to get to the hairdresser's um, business get to her business ahead of everyone else to try to get in early enough to get out early enough which by the way never was before noon no matter what time you got there um, hating that whole experience and I do mean hating it because there would always be people there before me um, the hairdressers would always find everything in the world to talk about while they were doing other people's hair and um, your Saturday was pretty much taken like a half a day half of your Saturday was taken you know just from sitting down in some hairdressers place right so I, I began to think about ways to move away from that. And I don't have pictures to share with you guys, but I do want to say that um, transitioning from transitioning from um, having straight hair to allowing my natural hair just to continue to grow out, I used braiding. Um, I braided my hair. I did not wear wigs or weaves because I wasn't familiar with how to put those things um, in my hair, nonetheless um, gluing or stitching or sewing or what have you, I wasn't really familiar with that. And my oldest sister who was very familiar with it, she didn't live here. She didn't live here near me at the time. So we didn't, I didn't do those things. I pretty much transitioned my natural hair by um, having hair added to my own hair but braiding it in having it braided in or uh, two strand twisted in so once my hair became a little long enough and that's the pictures right after um, the picture that you see that I'm sitting or standing near standing at the um, boardwalk I was in Kima and uh, I took a picture here that I think from my recollection this is like some of the earliest pictures that I, I was able to find and um, scan into my computer and then post them into iMovie to share this with you but those are some of the earliest pictures there's a picture of me standing on the boardwalk at Kima that's a very early picture of myself um, I did transition earlier I want to say but I don't have or I can't seem to find those pictures I want to say 2001 is the earliest that I can recall because I was in school at the time and I do remember having my hair in a short afro maybe about 
three inches long, similar in length to this picture. And I want to say that's around the same time. The picture where I am sitting down with shades on, with a phone to my ear, I was visiting New Orleans Cafe du Monde. That is, oh my God, New Orleans in itself. I absolutely love New Orleans. I would give my left arm to be there on a weekly basis in that area. It's just certain areas of New Orleans that really, really um, revive me. I feel very connected to it. I love the atmosphere. I would, I mean, if, if I could be there on a daily basis, I would, um, but I know I can't. So, but nevertheless, um, that's a picture of me with my hair a little shorter. Um, when your hair is much shorter, you're able to wash it often and your scalp stays clean all the time because it's short enough to manage easily, right? Um, as a matter of fact, the picture where I'm standing on top of some type of concrete um, little wall or something like that in front of a water fountain, that too is during the same uh, visit to New Orleans. I don't remember the exact location of where I was right there, but that is... But what I learned about having my hair shorter during the um, um, journey was that I was able to keep my scalp clean. And listen, listen to this. This is the key to growing out your hair. Having a very clean scalp, your hair will grow when the scalp is clean and there's no dirt buildup, um, clogging your pores, so to speak, like that. So the cleaner you can keep your scalp, the better it is for your own natural oils um, to um, coat your hair, so to speak, and to protect the hair. Now, as you can see, I don't have straight hair. I have rather curly hair. And um, we'll talk about that more in a, a little further in the uh, video. But yeah. group of pictures where you can see like I have this black shirt on and my hand is over my head and then the brown jacket there's a picture where I'm standing in front of a brick wall there in front of a house that's a house there and then I have this peach silk shirt on here so you can see um and I may go back from time to time discussing this but leading up to this hair length I wore my hair up in two strand twist and braids. I didn't stop doing that until I felt confident that I could wear my hair a little shorter because as you can see earlier, though I did have relaxed hair, my hair was at, at least a little longer than what it is in its natural state shown in those pictures. But um, yes, I was very confident wearing my natural Afro I felt so awesome. I absolutely loved it. I would go back to it at the drop of a hat. All right, so what did I do to maintain this? And like I said, I constantly, um, constantly wash my hair at least three or four times a week. I was, um, I shouldn't say wash because I think we get the wrong connotation when we just use the word wash. I would constantly put water on my hair when it was this length. I was always, um, when I would be in the shower, either with, either it would be water washing only or I would do just the conditioner to keep my hair soft. Now at that time, I wasn't familiar with different methods to wash my hair. I really hadn't uh, started the research portion. I was just venturing off of um, get rid of this straight, chemical, relaxed hair. And that's where I was. That That's where I found myself. So... Continue along with me in the next part for some more outstanding tips on your natural hair journey or just to um, see what happened and what worked for me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope this video was beneficial to someone as always. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye.